Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Tears with your host Andrew aka Potty Boy. Now today I'm going to be taking a look at Titus the Fox to Marrakesh and back. Uh, this game was uh, developed and published by Titus and released back in 1992. Uh, this game was in fact a request by Malk1976 uh, who took a look at the PC version and thought, thought it looked absolutely terrible. Um, terrible but um, I said I'd uh, take a look at the Amiga version so <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, well, so uh, well, what do I think of this game? <laughs> well, th well, this is um, this is one game that I've been um, uh, wanting to play for a little while. It's well, it's it was it was just sort of one of those games whereby it's I, I I'd heard of it, but I'd never played it. If you know what I mean, uh, it's uh, it's one I got fairly curious about. Um, of course, because I, I never had this one back in the day. Uh, but like I said, you know, I'd heard of it, just never played it until now. And um, well, <laughs> uh, what, so what do I think of this game? Uh, well, given Titus's usual output, um, which is, i.e., pretty terrible. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, Titus not been known. Titus have been extremely well known for releasing shitty games, really. Um, really, some pretty, really. Oh, the, yeah. So, some of them are absolute dribble, and some of them just, just not fun to play at all. Um, I think given, like, um, for given uh, Titus's usual output, um, this one, this one is alright. Um, it's it's not. A, I wouldn't say it's a particularly fantastic platform game. I would. I, it has problems. Uh, I think the major problem with this one is the fact that I think I think it's way too fast. I really do think it, it, it's. I really do think that your camera, that your character moves around far too quickly, and it's it's just. It just makes for some rather frustrating moments in the game, and um, and another thing as well, which I I think kind of lets the game out perhaps a little bit, is the fact that uh, well, whereas in most conventional platformers you can um, in most conventional conventional platform games you can jump on the enemies to defeat them, uh, not so here. Uh, jumping on top of them just just makes your character lose a hit point. Yeah, the the only way to, the only way to kill them is to basically find objects lying around and throw the objects at them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which comes to, comes to a bit of a disadvantage because um, because there's only so many objects planted around the levels and <laughs> there's about, there's oh, there's loads of bad guys uh, dotted around. I mean you can see there there's two dogs, you've got blokes uh, you got homeless guys sitting there trying to throw bottles at you. Uh, you got thugs jumping around, he's just trying to block the exit. I can't get past well I've got past now. <laughs> uh, but yeah um, but yeah, yeah, it's just it's just that idea and the fact that it being too fast, which for me really does kind of ruin the game. Um, yeah, it it's oh, I don't know. Um, uh, well, so yeah, so that it, it does kind of make the game. So those two aspects alone do kind of make the game somewhat frustrating to play uh, at times. Maybe perhaps a bit unfair. Um, it, it does kind of ruin the enjoyment a little bit, but on the plus side, the graphics uh, aren't actually too bad. My only criticism of the graphics is the uh, lack of frames of animation, uh, which is a little bit of a letdown. I mean, you see the, the dog just walking off the screen there. It, 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 was, it literally just like a two-frame animation. Uh, yeah, it, yeah, the characters only seem to have like two or three frames of animation each, each, and uh, in some cases, it makes them look like they're um, walking in fast in fast motion. I say, <laughs> yeah, it. Um, yeah, which, so that, that's probably the only thing that lets uh, lets it down in the graphics department. The um, uh, yeah, the lack of the complete total lack of frames of animation, but the, the backgrounds are pretty nicely detailed. Uh, the level design is is okay, I suppose. Um, and uh, of course, the main character sprite is pretty well drawn. Uh, you got there's a nice top screen earlier that you saw. Uh, so I'd say graphically, the game isn't too, uh, isn't too bad. Uh, the music's pretty good. I'll give it that. I have to give uh, credit to the uh, guy doing the music. The, the music is, is pretty good. Um, I suppose that's one thing I always find with Titus's games is that despite the fact they always play really poorly, they do. Uh, they can make they can make some game. They, they can make some games that actually you know, do look and sound good. Um, good. It, it's just the, it's just the. Um, the games themselves, the game is to suit. Normally, with Titus, it's the poor design of the games and the, the just the poor playability of them, really. Um, and yeah, and here it's 
Here it's not that much different, but, um, different, but it is an it is a you know a major improvement over the, the usual the usual rubbish that they bring out. Um, this is put so this is I've probably said that this is um one of the very f one of the very few games that are actually you know not crap, <laughs> should I say? Uh, I wouldn't say like I said uh, I'd say it's it's a pretty I'd say in a way it's a it's a pretty average game. Uh, there are better platform games out on the Amiga. Uh, but um, but it's not it's not unplayable. It's not a total disaster. Um, the, um, I think Titus is, Titus did do one game, however, that was an absolute classic, uh, classic. And I'm not going to say what it is. <laughs> um, I think most most uh, Amiga users will probably know which uh, which game it is. It's 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 one of the best game. It's one of the best driving games on the Amiga. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to say what it is. That's up to you to find out. In fact, I'll probably do a review of it soon. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. I'll, okay. I'll tell you. It, it's Crazy Cars Free. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. I'll definitely be doing a review on that pretty soon. Uh, but yeah. So overall, Titus the Fox. Uh, it's not a bad game. There's there's better platformers uh, platformers out for the Amiga. Um, like I said, it's it's just let down with the fact that the, your character just moves far too quickly. Uh, and it, you know, it, it's a faster paced game than it, it's, it's faster paced than it, it needed to be, and 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 it's just the, the other sheer frustration that you, you can't just jump on the enemies to uh, to defeat them. You have to you have to go around find objects and throw, throw them at them, which I was, and like I said so before, there's loads of bad guys everywhere, so you kind of have a major disadvantage. Um, so overall, it's so overall it's. It's just got its my overall. It's it's not a bad looking platform game. It's the, the yeah the music's pretty good. Uh, it's it's just um, it's just some aspects of it uh, basically make the game really frustrating to play. play and just uh, I don't know, just not just not not particularly as fun to play as some other platform games, which is a bit of a, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, given um, but like I said, given Titus's usual output, uh, this came as this does come as a bit of a surprise. <laughs> um, if um, I mean I'd, I'd say give this game a try. Um, try it's it is very much an acquired taste because you're either not going to be too bothered about its problems or they're really going to bother you. And um, yeah, <laughs> um, so you're either going to like it or you're not. Um, and um, I think this game can be picked up fairly cheaply these days. Or of course you can just grab the ROM image or something like that. So <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, it's. Um, Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's it's just not particularly. Uh, like I said, it's just not a particularly uh, fantastic game. I suppose I better leave it here now because I'm just going to repeat myself over and over again, aren't I? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Titus the Fox. Um, not a bad game. Um, game. Not. T not. It's not terrible. It's just that I've played. Uh, it's just that I have played better platform games out there. Um, I'm going to get. Uh, but I'm going to get this one three out of five. Thank you very much for watching.